do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So this is a follow-up tutorial to Free DVD Boot. Today's tutorial, we're gonna showcase how to install Free McBoot. And as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to install OPL and then run your PS2 USB game. I won't go into the USB game method too much detail because I have a dedicated video on that topic. Lots of detail, I have a link in the video description. So first of all, I'm assuming you have Free DVD Boot that works with your PS2. So in my case, I have a 3.11 disc, it works. And to confirm that, Triangle, DVD player 3.11U. So make sure you have a disc that works for your PS2 Slim or maybe a FAT in the future at the t when you watch this video. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and insert the disc into my PS2. And I have a USB thumb drive, FAT32. It has free boot files on there as well as OPL. So in the video description, I'll have a link where you can download those files, extract them into the root of your USB thumb drive and you should be good to go for this tutorial. Memory card not inserted yet because I have Freemic boot. Um, I take that back. We're going to format it anyways. So let me insert the memory card. PS2 is already loading the disk. Okay. And we're good to go. So it's going to boot the disk. It thinks the DVD movie. In reality, it's not C Launch Elf. Awesome. So we're going to go to the mass drive. And I have a lot of stuff on my USB thumb drive because I do other tutorial stuff as well. But the most important is I have this folder, which is an install folder for version 1.965. Um, I like this version because I have a mod chip. It works in my unit. There's a newer version called 1.966. So I have a link to the video description where you can download whatever version of Free McBoot that you like for your PS2. So let's pretend you found a version you like. Go ahead, go to FMB, fmcbinstaller.elf and run it. And then what I like to do, me personally, is I like to format the memory card. So what I do here is I press R1 and format memory card, say X, and then say yes, press X, formats the memory card, right? Once that is completed, then I want to press L1 and L1, go to install, say yes. Here you have three options, normal, cross-regional, and cross-model. Normal is like where you have just one PS2, it's for that one PS2, you're good to go. Cross regional, which is what I like to do because I sell memory cards to clients around the world, is it doesn't care about the region, so that's great. Cross model is like if you have a fat, you have a slim, and if they don't work, then they may use the cross model and there you ensure the compatibility. So for purposes of today's tutorial, let's go ahead and do normal. And then it's gonna go through an installation process, and once I reboot the PS2, we'll see that, oh yeah, it boots into Freemic Boot and it automatically installs U Launch Elf. As a bonus for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy OPL, Open PS2 Loader, to the memory card, and we'll make a quick shortcut to that on the main screen of Freemic Boot. So now we don't need the disk anymore. So let's take out the disk. Okay. Reboot is going to boot into Freemic Boot. All right, we're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is go to you launch elf. And then we're gonna press uh, circle, navigate to the mass drive, go all the way down to open PS2 loader, dot elf, right click, sorry, R1, copy, copy, circle. And then we're gonna go to memory card, MC0, R1, and paste. You can paste it to the root here, or to make things a little bit cleaner, let's go ahead and paste it into the boot folder. So I go into the boot folder, R1, paste by pressing circle. It's gonna paste the latest version of the OPL that I downloaded from the internet, ps2-home.com forums, onto the memory card. And then if we wish, we can go ahead and run PS2 right now, I mean the OPL right now, or what I'm gonna do instead is let's go ahead and reboot the PS2, and let's add a shortcut real quick to the main menu on the FMCD uh, main menu screen here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go to Free McBoot Configurator, press X, and then I'm gonna press X here, so I'm gonna go to Configure OSD Sys Options, press X, Configure Item, I'm gonna scroll over to the right, 
Um, I don't have HD loader, so I want to erase this guy. So I want to say clear, clear, clear by pressing circle. Uh, let's clear the name, and then we we'll press X. Let's type in OPL. OPL. Press start, press OK. Path one, I'm going to say map to any, so I'm going to say square. And then I'm going to go to MC0 by pressing X. Boot, select open PS2, and then go to return, and then go down to return. And then say save CNF to MC0, say X. It's saved at the top, great, and say exit. So now what's going to happen is whenever you turn on your PS2 with your memory card, assuming your PS2 is compatible with Freemic Boot, now I have a link in the video description that goes over what consoles is compatible with Freemic Boot. Then what you can do is here we see there's a shortcut. Great. So now we go to Freemic Boot, then we go to OPL. And then you want to set up your USB, right? So then what you can do is you can press um, start or select actually. It goes to this main menu here, go to settings. And then what I like to do is go to USB device, start mode, say auto, default menu, USB, say okay, and save changes. So I have two example games already in my USB, these two games here. So let's go ahead and run one of the games, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. If you're a follower of the channel, you might see this game being tested many times in the past. And you can see that it's working. It's, it's loading off the USB. Momentarily, the game will be loading, and then you're good to go to have a lot of good times. My recommendation is, if you can, SMB Network Share is the best way to go for loading games, and the compatibility is higher when compared to USB. So I'm just going to skip ahead, try to go to the gameplay as soon as I can here. Yeah. So yeah, so that's today's PS2 tutorial. So using free DVD boot, we were able to run, run the disk, go into ULaunch Elf, run the FMCB installer from USB. After uh, Freemake Boot is installed, go back into ULaunch Elf, copy over the OPL files into the memory card, reboot, go into the uh, Freemake Boot configurator section, add a shortcut to OPL. Once that is done, now you can run OPL from the main menu shortcut. And then you can go ahead and play your USB games. Like I said, you're going to learn how to add and format your USB for proper use for USB games. See the video description. I have a dedicated, dedicated tutorial on USB games. So that's today's PS2 tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.